Hi, my name is Claire Posniak. I am the founder and president of Ricci Nomi New York City, um, one of the biggest Ricci Mahjong clubs in America. So when I was younger, I was I watched some some Japanese anime and they were playing mahjong in it. And for some reason, I watched it. I thought this is so cool. They make it look so fun. Like there's like flames coming out of their hands. They're like drawing the titles they need. I was like, wow, this is epic. This is so cool. So I started trying to learn after I watched it, and then I just never put it down. This club was founded a couple years back because there wasn't enough Ricci Mahjong being played in New York. And I need to play Mahjong at least once a week, maybe more. And then the pandemic hit and we didn't have anything to do anyway. So I made a club and we mostly played online at first, just really having fun, talking to each other, uh, staying together during the pandemic, playing Mahjong. And I would say that's still the model that we run the club on now. It's a, it's a growth model. Like there's many people who want to play can play. We want to teach a lot of people the game. We want to get as many people who know the game into the club. And it's been pretty successful. We have one of the biggest clubs in America now. <laughs> In American Mahjong, and I think in Chinese Mahjong as well, it's mostly an older group who's playing. But for Ricci Mahjong here, it's younger people. It's people, you know, 30 and under who are just really into the strategy and the social aspect. And I think that's really good for the community because it makes Mahjong, Ricci Mahjong, seem young and fresh and exciting, social, something cool to do, right? Not something, you know, that, oh, you know, your grandma does. No, this is something cool that you can do. <laughs> Young people are kind of like a vessel to spread Mahjong, and that's sort of what I do in the club. My name is Eric Carhan. I'm 21 years old. I handle the teaching and recruitment. The majority of people in our club that we teach are somewhere between 20 and 30 years old. That seems to be the demographic that's interested in learning. And it's difficult because you have 15 to 20 minutes to teach people a game that takes three hours to learn. So you have to boil it down to the essentials. And what we basically do is teach them a very simplified version, the components of a hand, how to call tiles, and then at the very end we teach them basic yaku, which are the hand requirements to win. Okay, so that's gonna be 15. Yeah, where is it? Eric is having a big impact on the game of his patience for teaching and his willingness to teach and his drive for recruitment. And you can't match that. And he brings the game to so many people. I met Eric from the club and he sent me an invite link to Rigi no Mi, which was where I was greeted very kindly by Claire. And so since then I've been coming every Sunday. My roommates are like, oh, why do you like leave every Sunday to go play Mahjong? And I have a set at home and they've been like trying to learn how to play and understand. And I don't know, I guess I'm trying to get a few more younger people interested in the game. I guess that would be my influence. <laughs> I think it's incredible how much everyone in the club is into the game. It's become a big part of their lives. Um, and I think that's amazing. Sorry, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> I have impulsively got the East Tile tattooed on my arm right here. <laughs> so this mug says, these are the tears of the people I beat at Mahjong. 
I have this photo of my boyfriend playing Mahjong. This is the first time I ever met him. My name is Eric Carhan. I am 22... Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I agree. It is cool. Biggest club in America.